We're going to move on to a question from Kelly from Oklahoma City. Dear doctors, I've heard that fertility drugs increase your risk of breast cancer. Is this true? And if so, how big are the risks? Gets back to you need to have these discussions right. because people are afraid of these things. Yeah. So the good news is not true. There were 15 studies all taken together show 60,000 women who went through fertility treatments and there is no increased risk in breast cancer. I will say though that 75% of all breast cancers have these receptors on them for estrogen. So estrogen makes the cancer grow and divide. So if you have a teeny tiny cancer in your breast, go through fertility, you might think that the medicine caused this cancer, you are already gonna get it. Maybe five or 10 years from now, instead of now. One other caveat, if you yourself have had breast cancer, in the last two to five years, this is a long discussion to have with your doctor before you move ahead with any kind of pregnancy. And fertility treatments have come so far over the last few decades. And we do have one more question. Dr. Funk, this is for you. Hi doctors, I keep getting these cyst-like pimples under my breasts and I don't know what they are. Should I be worried? Can you tell me what's causing it? Yes, some of these cysts can just be pimples or infected sebaceous cysts, but when you have multiple infected little bumps, I worry about hidradenitis superativa. This is a chronic infection that flares and regresses throughout life, affecting sebaceous and sweat glands, notably in the armpits, under the breast, groin, inner thighs, buttocks. It's a real difficult problem to prevent and control. So what we advise, if you do see one little red bump, don't panic, it probably is not this difficult skin condition is probably just in a, you know ingrown hair. But multiple bumps that get inflamed, tender, red, go see your doctor. If you have hidradenitis, conservative management, we apply warm compresses of distilled white vinegar with water, take oral antibiotics, keep the area clean and dry when you're not doing the compresses after you sweat from exercise or heat, get those areas dry. More aggressive treatments, if it's relentless, we inject steroids into the lesions. And if it's really bad, we actually have to excise all of that skin and do a skin graft. You know, and that's, 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 that's a scenario wherever you may have this. The, the key is understanding the difference between, you highlighted it, if you just have an isolated pimple, um, that's one thing, but these just keep coming back in the same areas and it's worth getting it checked out because it's not just gonna go away. Exactly. And they can get infected, and, and, and it's an embarrassing question. It's an embarrassing thing to, to talk to your doctor too. about. But we find them often in the groin, as you said, and when right. you're doing an annual exam. But women don't want to bring it up until it's a little bit late, or it's, it may get infected. Bring it up because not always an easy solution, but there are options out there. Thank you both so very much. Yeah. Coming up, if it's not a skin tag, what is it? Common skin problems you often mistake for something else, plus two illnesses you never knew you can contract from your pet. Stick around.